Dead tree trunks are not wasted, and neither are dead leaves when they fall. Both are food for fungi. Some leaves are captured even before they reach the ground. The fungus has constructed a net stretched between the twigs of the undergrowth. Once they've caught their leaf, the threads put out white filaments. These produce powerful acid which dissolves the cellulose in the leaves. Why doesn't it dissolve the fungus too? Because fungi are not plants. Their bodies don't contain cellulose. They're constructed instead from a material much more akin to that of which animal horn and hooves are made. Fungi are neither plant nor animal. They belong to a category of life that is all their own. Nourished by the liquefied tissues of leaves, this fungus puts out more threads. But fungi do require moisture. They can only live out in the open like this in the moist atmosphere of the rainforest. In cooler, drier woodlands, they have great difficulty in living out in the open. Instead, they hide in the ground or within the tissues of the bodies they feast on. A fungus has no stem, no root, no leaves. For most of the time, it's nothing more than a tangled tissue of branching threads. These produce digestive acids, absorb the resulting soup, and then use it to construct more threads and widen their search for more dead plant tissue. But cellulose is very low in nitrogen. To get that, some fungi trap living animals. The microscopic threads develop tiny lassoes. These give off a chemical that attracts microscopic worms. Nematodes. One of them nuzzles into the ring, and the fungus suddenly draws its lasso tight. The worms are killed, and the fungus has its nitrogen. All this takes place out of sight, below ground, or within the body of a dead plant. Only when a fungus is ready to reproduce does it make itself more visible. From such apparitions as these come spores, the fungal equivalent of seeds. They're so small that they drift away like smoke. But the appearance of these spectacular constructions is brief. As soon as their spores have been shed, sometimes after only a few days, they collapse. Now, they are merely food for maggots. So the corpses of plants do not retain their nutriment forever. Some of it is consumed by fungi, and the remainder, now in soluble form, seeps back into the soil to sustain the next generation. 